What's up, guys? So we're going to do something that I uh, haven't really done before. That previous upload from was from last night, however, this one is going to be today. So I'm going to do two uploads in one day because I had some interesting coffee. Oh! An interesting conversation with one of my coworkers, um, just about struggling. And anxiety for me has been learning how to struggle properly. Um, I know I don't want to put like suffering because suffering's a choice. Struggling, you, you struggle here and there because life gets throws you curveballs. You have good days, you have shitty days. Um, the one thing that I have to say for me. Um, is, you know, this one, remember I said that money isn't everything, but it is definitely something that can help out. Well, you know, money isn't everything to the regard that, you know, I haven't struggled. I haven't struggled at all in my life before this really happened. I grew up in a great family that did everything for me. I've had good relationships, bad relationships. I've been healthy for the majority of my life. I haven't had any injuries, I haven't dealt with pain, I haven't felt with loss and all this kind of stuff. I haven't dealt with tough times. So when this came for me, when depression came, when anxiety came, I didn't know what to do because I had not prepared for it. And so people that have gone through shit financially, um, with family issues, with drugs and alcohol earlier on as an age, even as kids are much more suitable for this life because they already know what struggling is. They know how to deal with it. And a lot of the people are that are listening to the video are probably in the same boat that I am. Or even, even so where they've struggled, but they haven't struggled like this before. Um, and that's the thing. That's the biggest thing with anxiety, which gives you one of the greatest keys in life is learning how to struggle properly, which I think is one of the greatest things that you could learn how to do because it's not easy to struggle. I mean, who likes to struggle? Who likes to deal with shit constantly? No one does. But, you know, I was just talking with a buddy and, you know, he he is a co-worker of mine and he struggles right now with a relationship. One, one of his best, a good relationship that's been on and off, but he really wants to continue. They're moving out of state. So he's like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to come to work tomorrow. I'm really struggling. And I haven't been able to do that. I haven't struggled before. It's always been good life. I've all, Everything's been given to me. I'm like, yeah, I, I know exactly how you feel. I'm in the same boat. And, you know, sometimes it's not going to be all fine and dandy. But I guarantee you through all this, when I was talking with him, how I, my experience with anxiety, depression, stuff like that today... I told him it's so much better than it used to be and I just look at life so much differently and I do things so much differently based off of my experiences and I learn, I educate and I am educated um, by the experiences and um, I've learned so much through that um, and I, I don't think it's a bad thing to struggle, I think it's a really, really good thing to struggle. Because if you don't struggle earlier on in life, I don't think you're prepared for the, you know, bad things that could happen later on. Um, you know, I was listening to kind of a meditation video on how kids, you know, they're able to fight off diseases. Well, they're able to fight off diseases because a lot of them don't have that many negative thoughts that have been built up throughout life because life is typically more negative than it is positive for most people, to be honest. Um, and so I thought about that. I was like, yeah, but the same token too, the people that have gone through struggles have dealt with a lot of stuff, um, and have a positive and better attitude on life. Um, I think have the greatest chance to fight off diseases, to fight off, you know, pain and struggling because they truly know what it's life to, like to struggle, what it's truly like to go through hell and back. Um, and you get used to it. Um, and you learn how to deal with it, adapt, and like get better and learn things and try new things. I mean, I've tried so many different things. This meditation thing has, has been great for me. This gratitude thing, being thankful. You know, right now, you know, with me, you guys, like, you could think think of, you know, five to ten things you're grateful for. You can 
think of, I can think of five things right off the bat. I'm thankful for this car that I'm driving in. I'm thankful for the air that I'm breathing right now. I'm thankful that I just got back from Costco and got a bunch of food for me. I'm excited to eat that. Um, I'm thankful for, you know, this radio station that I was listening to. It had some bomb songs on it. It was awesome. And, you know, I'm thankful for the weather right now. It's pretty nice and stuff like that. All those things, just simple things I'm thankful for. The more positive mindset, you know, makes you think about other things. Sorry, I'm taking a pretty sharp corner here. There we go. Um, think about a lot of positive things. Generating those more positive thoughts, being hyped on the day is gonna be so much more beneficial. I think the people that down it out, you just, you run out of energy um, and you know, it's tough when you're struggling, but I guarantee you, I was telling them, my friend, my coworker today, it was perfect, kind of giving the opportunity to kind of open up to a coworker about this. You know, it's gonna suck. Like, it does suck. It's, it's, it's not pretty. It's not great. And, oh, oh. And you know, you're gonna struggle for a little bit, but I guarantee you, it's only temporary. And, you know, someone asked me today in the comments, does your head pressure ever go away? Yes, it completely went away this previous weekend. I had none. Like, I literally had none. And it was fantastic. And I was able to have a great weekend with friends and family. Um, and, yeah, had a great time. So, I appreciate, you guys, ugh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. We are almost at 400 subscribers. I love the feedback. You guys are great. Have a great afternoon, a great weekend, and stay positive.